Oh, right, so we got a surprise find. I don't know what these are. I've never seen these before in my life. All the sneakers and gravity is crazy. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys, and welcome to a new episode of the $20 Sneaker Collection. Before we dive into things, though, I want to let you all know about a giveaway that we just started for a brand new pair of Air Jordan 3 Reimagines in your size, a shoe that hasn't even come out yet. I don't think it comes out till March. So entering this giveaway is really easy. All you need to do is click that link in the top of the description below and subscribe to the brand new Apothecary YouTube channel. My favorite clothing collection that we've dropped so far. We haven't dropped a lot, but this is probably my favorite. Honestly, this channel has been a huge amount of fun to create. It's sort of a behind the scenes look at Apothecary and everything that goes on day to day at my brand, which is really crazy to say. I'm super excited about the progress we've been making. And like I said, it's been a blast to make these videos. And as a thank you to all of you who decide to go over to that channel and subscribe, like I said, we're giving away a pair of Air Jordan 3 Reimagines. In my opinion, the sneaker that could be sneaker of the year 2023. I know that's crazy to say so early on in the year, but have you seen the sneaker? The sneaker's crazy. Obviously the main way to enter this giveaway is by subscribing to our YouTube channel, but you also get an entry for everything that you buy on apothecary.com. And again, all the information that you need is in the link in the top of the description below. Plus, while you're checking out the Apothecary Vlog channel, you might see our brand new Apothecary Sneaker Heaven collection. It's a collection based on sneaker stores. I love the way this collection came out. It's absolutely fire. And again, you can check out all of that and more on our vlog channel. But hey, with all that being said, let's get into this week's episode of the $20 Sneaker Collection. I mean, there's a huge upside on these. I'm definitely gonna grab these, especially for 20 bucks. And to start off this week, we have a sneaker collection fund of $158.51. And over the weekend, we ended up selling the Adidas Ultra Boost social status collaboration that we had picked up from Buffalo Exchange last week for $30. I think I'm gonna grab these. Nice. Now what's crazy is that I didn't even realize the shoe was a social status collaboration until I listed them on eBay and saw Oh yep, that's that's a collab. That's actually a collab that I really wanted back when it first came out, but I wasn't able to grab. And now I was able to find a pair at Buffalo Exchange for $30. So we ended up selling this pair on eBay for $55 even, and after fees and shipping, we were left with $48.71 to add back into the sneaker collection fund. And then subtracting the original purchase price, we're left with a net profit of $18.71, which brings the sneaker collection fund to a new total of $207.22. And hey, that's a good amount to go thrifting with, so let's do it. Okay, so today I think everything that's marked red or purple is a dollar, which is sick. We've got some Adidas that are 20 bucks, brand new though. Got some Under Armors, bunch of cards. Baseball stars! Baseball stars! Sweet. I never had these growing up, but I always wanted Heelys or something like them. I never got them. Got some New Balance Fresh Phones, but they're dirty. Some Roshis, nine bucks. No, I'm good on those. It was absolutely packed today. More so than I've ever seen it. That was crazy. I guess it was because of the uh, the blue, purple, or the red deal, or whatever was going on, but that was, that was nuts. There was so many people in there. I didn't find anything at all. Not the best start to the week. Man, this Goodwill is packed too, at least. Look at the parking lot. I had to park on the other side of the building, which is crazy. I've never had to do that. Man, I'm bad feeling about this. Not too, too much in the case today. We've got Air Forces, Kyrie's. I don't know what those are. But yeah, nothing crazy. Iversons, some Jordan 1 mids, it looks like. Don't beat. How much for? Doesn't say. Yeah, not a lot today. This is usually full. Got some kids Kyrie's, I think. The 2002, my birthday year, let's go. 30, baby. Got some Pegasus. Pretty good condition, but for 12 bucks, they don't really go for much. <laughs> All right, so note to self, don't go on Sunday, especially not a Sunday where there's a crazy deal on because you're gonna find nothing. We got some Prestos. They look brand new, actually for 30 bucks. That's not bad. It's sort of a mustard color. That's crazy. Okay, let me check them out on eBay really quick. Okay, so these are brand new, but probably not worth it for that price. They were selling for like 40 to 50, and I think after fees, just not worth it. We have some Hoka's, but they're pretty beat. We have some brand new Adidas, but I've never actually heard of this model, and I don't think it goes for much. 30 bucks, yeah, it's definitely what they're selling for on eBay. Well, I wouldn't know, because I've never heard of this model, but I'm assuming based on the fact that it doesn't have boost. We got some Air Max 270 Reacts. Got some K-Swiss that look like um, Adidas. Sometimes you find crazy stuff in the bin, you never know. So we got some New Balances. Some, some Hoka's. Actually, these Hoka's look like they're in great condition. That's crazy, but a really big size. Probably not worth it. Actually, I probably should just check the price on these Hoka's. All oh, right, so we got a surprise find. So this pair 
He's selling in Play-Dohs for 20 bucks. It's size 10 men's. It's not too worn. And on eBay, they're going for like 70 to 100. Now granted, probably like very lightly worn or new, but still, I mean, there's a huge upside on these. I'm definitely gonna grab these, especially for 20 bucks. It's not bad. Got some New Balance 325s, women's colorway. This is actually a clean colorway for 25 bucks. No, not worth it, but still cool. These Air Forces are kind of clean, white with purple. Great condition too for 85 though. That's really expensive for Air Forces. I'll leave them, but still cool to see. All right, so pick up from Plato's Hoka's. These are the Hoka Gaviota 4s. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but regardless, we got these for 20 bucks, which is not bad. And I think I can flip these for like 60 to 70, hopefully. For some reason, the right shoe is way more messy than the left shoe. It almost looks like they're from different pairs, but I don't think that they are. But still, great condition. I'll just clean these off with some rejuvenator or something and uh, try and make them as good as new and then flip them. Still cool to find. Just kind of wish I had found something more like, you know? My editor's gonna use that on me, isn't he? Okay, well, on to the next spot. It's kind of crazy, it's like Jordan 1 lows. They're not, but they're actually Nike Ibrunan lows. I've never even heard of these, but I like the colorway. Pretty clean, 59 bucks, not bad. So these caught my, I don't know what these are. Air Force One mids? Some of the colorway chocolate. They're actually pretty clean. I actually really dig those. We've got some, some Pegasus, got some Zoom Victories, which I'm assuming is some sort of like running cleat style thing. More of these guys. The Play Road um, Prestos. You know, like when you're growing up those, as a kid, like you had those Play Roads, those like mats. Yeah, that's what these remind me of. Oh, you know? Got these Jordan Lowe's. These are the um, center courts from the, uh, what's it called? The Last Dance documentary, or at least that's when they first launched. But. Since then, they haven't really been that popular. Even though that colorway is better than the all-white colorway that came out when that shoe first came out. Oh, these are actually pretty clean. I dig these, but size 15. Why are your feet so small? We got the almost cool grays right here, and the almost space champs. Even the almost ones, man, and the almost sevens. Got everything, almost everything. <laughs> these are actually really clean. I dig these. Wow, these are fire. I'm not gonna grab them, but very, very clean. So I kept hearing stuff about the Nike outlet having crazy stuff, like they were restocking stuff. Um, but there was nothing. I kept hearing about, what was it, the ones that were supposed to be there, all sorts of shoes, but literally nothing, so. Okay, so I stopped by my favorite boutique in the city, Lap Center and Hammer, and uh, they had a lot of stuff, but it was in women's. Like, as you guys saw, there was this Air Jordan 2s, but I felt like it wasn't right to grab a shoe for the clock in women's size. Let me know in the comment section if I was wrong about that, because I could have grabbed them for retail. But uh, either way, dope store, just nothing today that we needed for the clock or anything that we could retail. So, yeah, on to the next spot. Some 12s, some 11s, nothing crazy. Some solid stuff nonetheless. 13s, these are clean, man, these are crazy. Got some Yeezy Quantum, some Yeezy 700s. Good on those, some Balenciagas. All sorts of stuff today. I love these Court Purples, these are fire. Got some J. Coles, Puma Dreamers. This really nice blue colorway, how much are these going for? Let's see. 36, that's actually not a bad price. That might be a pickup. Got some Ralph Sampson's, some Adidas. I don't know what these are. I've never seen these before in my life. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what that is. Got some nice, these Hirachis? What are these? Hirachi somethings. Combo, I don't know what it is, but pretty clean for 32 bucks. Not bad. Got some Halloween Air Forces. Really good condition. How much for? 50 bucks, size nine though. I don't know, let me check these guys out. Shoot, these are actually going for a decent amount. I might actually grab these, especially in this condition. They're in great condition. I'm gonna grab them. Let's go. Got some New Balance 375s, 327s. What am I talking about? 327s. This nice neon colorway. Got some Air Max 200s, some Curry 1s. I've actually looked these exact pair up before on eBay. I don't think they're worth anything, but it's so cool to see. I forget what these shoes are called, but this is a women's exclusive. It's got this uh, recycled foam in the midsole, and whenever you stand on it, there's like an air pocket and like makes a farting noise every time you walk in it. Oh, you know? They're pretty rare because no one really bought them, but so cool to see, I guess. Wait, some Jordan 1s, hold up. 40 bucks, size nine women's. Ooh, this might be a cop. Oh, there's me, what's up, me? Yeah, so these are going for around 120 on eBay, so this is a definite cop. Look at all the sneakers I'm grabbing, it's crazy. I got the ones, really big size, but still cool to see them in store. I know they don't really go for 
Actually, they go for below retail, but still. Got these nines on sale. Got these 13s, which are very clean. Of course, got the sevens that we just picked up for under retail, but again, big size. Pretty cool. Nice to see Jordan sitting again. These are actually kind of fire too. I kind of dig these. And these aren't bad without the chenille. <laughs> I guess that's the main part of this year. So we are back with all of our sneaker pickups for the week. And unfortunately, uh, we didn't grab anything for the clock. I tried, I tried my hardest. Failure. We didn't sell anything this week and uh, I couldn't find anything in store. In fact, it was really difficult to find anything in store this week. So no new clock pickups, but it makes it easier for me because I don't have to bring that stupid heavy clock into the room, so. But we did pick up three pairs of sneakers and I feel like although these three aren't crazy hyped up, they're definitely good pickups and they all have pretty decent profit potential. So the first pair that we grabbed was this pair of Hoka Gaviotas, I think is the official name, Gaviota 4. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but the Gaviota 4s, this is a pair that we picked up from Plato's Closet for $20. And I've gotta say, condition wise, this shoe looks almost brand new. Like there's literally no wear on the inside of the shoe on the sock liner, like the, the logo is still there on the heel. The right shoe has some dirt on the outsole, the left shoe doesn't for some reason. But other than that, the shoe looks almost brand new. Obviously there's no box. I grabbed these for $20, like I said, and I feel like this is gonna be a shoe that will hopefully at least double our money. So we'll see what happens. Next up, we have the Nike Air Force One Halloweens. This is the pair that dropped in 2021, I believe. What's cool is that the upper of the shoe, all these little eye details, which I'm not sure if you guys can see, they're actually glow in the dark. In fact, hold on. Hey Siri, turn off studio. I guess they're not that glow in the dark. <laughs> I think they're supposed to glow in the dark. Um, I think I just didn't charge them up, but regardless, very cool looking sneaker. It's also in very good condition. There's not really that much creasing on the toe of the shoe. And the midsole and the outsole of the shoe are also very, very clean. The logo inside the shoe on the uh, insole of the sneaker has worn away a bit, so it's definitely been worn a decent amount. But I think for the $50 that I grabbed this shoe for, you know, I could probably easily flip it for like 70 or 80. So it's not a double up, but it's definitely a good profit. I just don't know how long it's gonna take to sell this shoe because Halloween sneakers are harder to sell not around Halloween. But regardless, it's a black Air Force One in a very clean colorway in really good condition, so I'm hopeful. We'll see what happens. And then the final pickup of the week, actually one of the most surprising pickups of the week. Ooh, this might be a cop. So these are the Women's Court Purple Air Jordan 1s. They come in this really nice white leather upper with this really nice um, purple patent leather around the ankle area and on the Nike swoosh. Very, very clean sneaker. If this was a men's size, I'd actually consider keeping this shoe. It's interesting because it's a women's size 9. I'm a men's size 9, so, you know, it's, it's almost my size. <laughs> size and half small, but regardless, great looking shoe in a little bit rougher shape than uh, the other shoes that we picked up. The toe is a little creased up. There's some dirt on the upper. I will probably rub this shoe down before I list it on eBay. You've got some dirt on the heel. I grabbed these for 40 bucks. I think I can sell these for like 60 to 70. So $30 profit, hopefully, but definitely a cool pickup. I love Jordan 1s. They're my favorite sneaker of all time. So finding a shoe like this, you know I had to grab it. Yeah, so these are going for around 120 on eBay, so this is a definite cop. But after those sneaker pickups, we end off the week with a sneaker collection fund of $97.22. And again, as you guys saw last week, we only have five more sneakers that we need to grab to finish off our clock. There you go, I can't hold it up for as long. Um, I don't have the clock here because it's just a pain to grab, and unless I'm putting a sneaker on the clock, I don't wanna, okay, I'll grab it, I'll grab it. No, you know what, no, I'm not gonna do it because it's, I'll grab it. Oh. You know? Okay, here it is for anyone that missed last week's episode. If you did miss last week's episode, make sure to check it out. It was a really good episode. But here we go. Here is the clock. Like I said, we only need five more pairs of sneakers on it. I think I just ripped my pants. It's starting to look really good. I've gotten a lot of comments of people saying it looks awful. And yes, I get that. It does look awful. But good in terms of it's getting all the sneakers filled in. So I'm happy about that. <sighs> And you know what else? If these had released earlier on in the year and uh, I was able to grab a pair for a non-insane price, like I grabbed this pair for 600 bucks, I could have put this on the clock instead of the Fire Reds because I think this is a colorway that I like more than the Fire Reds. But regardless, I'm so out of breath. Whew. All that being said, again, if you guys want to win a pair of Air Jordan 3 white cements for yourself, all you need to do is click that link in the description below and subscribe to the Apothecary YouTube channel. Also, if you guys want to grab the Sneaker Heaven hoodies and shirts and sock collection, they drop this upcoming Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Apothecary.com. But with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. I will see you all next week.